drop this in my spirit because too many of my team members are worried about what people are trying to do to them nobody can stop your shine nobody on god's beautiful planet can stop you so get that in your mind and purpose that in your heart and purpose that in your spirit nobody can stop you nobody if they could have stopped you they would have stopped you already they're not powerful enough to stop you. These people aren't strong enough to stop you. That lie didn't destroy you. How these people tried to assassinate your character and turn people against you, it did not work. Because in the end, God is snatching the cover off of people. God is snatching the mask off of people. You don't have to worry about people. So if you're worrying about people, stop worrying about people, Team Nikki G. To all of my tribe here, to my community here, stop worrying about people. God is allowing these things to happen to you. He knows where you are going. Let me tell you something, family. This is a tough battle. It is. This is very challenging for us because society conditions us to worry and put too much hope in people and things that have no power. These people have no power over you. These people are setting you up for some of the greatest blessings you've ever seen in your life. And they're going to hate themselves for inflicting so much pain upon you. These people are going to hate themselves. They're going to regret inflicting so much harm toward you. You hear me, people of God? So let these low-minded and low-vibrational people do what they do. They can only be low-vibrational people. You are high-vibrational people. You are eagles. So I want you to continue to soar. And I want you to forget these low vibrational leeches. These people knew in your childhood you were somebody. Your family members knew you were somebody. Your family members knew you were called to greatness. Even your mother, your father, your sister, your brothers, your inner circle. These people knew you were called to greatness, but they never wanted you to tap in. But thanks be to God, everything that you've ever gone through within this life, it has caused you to tap in. It has caused you to be more creative. Oh, glory to God. Your creative juices are going to flow. And it's going to flow out of your brokenness. It's going to flow out of your trauma. Thank God for the trauma that you go through with. Thank God. It don't feel good. It's not supposed to feel good. We live by the Spirit. We are not called by flesh. This is flesh. Let the flesh hurt, people of God. Because God is going to crucify your adversary. We talk so much about the adversary on our channel here. I, I'm here to give you a voice. You have a voice. Use your voice. The devil wants to shut down your voice. The devil doesn't want you to be heard. The devil wants you to be silent. This is why your ministries hate you. This is why your leadership hate you. But listen to me well so you don't cause a curse to come upon your life. You are never to rebuke an elder. Never rebuke your elders. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter how your leadership make you feel. Don't you rebuke your leadership. You stay humble. And you put these people before God. Because the enemy you see today, you will not see anymore. You are creative people. So open up your mouth and decree and declare what you want to have. God isn't surprised by one thing that you went through with. Not one thing. Do you hear me? God allowed it. And this is an indication to all of you where you're headed. It's not where you've been. It's not who did it to you, family of God. It's where you headed. it. So take your eyes off of what people did to you. Shut people down, just like you shutting people down. You are shutting people down. And you shutting these people down by your silence. Your silence is powerful. Your silence is causing people to get into their feelings where you are concerned. They're trying to stop you. They're trying to block you. And they're using you to do it. Don't you let these people use you to stop and to hinder your own life, and to hinder your own progress. God has a day set in hell for your enemies. I don't care who's bothering you. I don't care what crazy demon-possessed supervisor on your job is bothering you. 
God is allowing these people to bother you. Why is he doing this? Because God is perfecting something down on the inside of you to get you from point A to point B. You cried before the Lord and you've asked God to deliver you. And God is delivering you, family of God. And what is he going to use? He's going to use people to do it. Just like the devil sent somebody in your life to hinder your progress. Oh, glory to God. God is going to use people to get you from point A to point B. God is hitting you on jobs. God is hitting you in your family. He hid you for such a time as this. People know they can't stop you. People know you are powerful. People know you are gifted. People know you are talented. These people know that. But they never wanted you to tap into the power that you have. They never wanted you to tap into your creativity. You are entrepreneurs, some of you. Your creative juices from this day forward will flow. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. God is going to give you houses that you didn't even build. God is going to give you wells you didn't dig, people of God. He's going to give you vineyards that you didn't plant. God is going to do that for you from this day forward. I want you to focus on where you're headed. I want you to keep your eyes on things that are above and not beneath. God is allowing people an opportunity to walk beside you. God is giving people every opportunity that he can to leave you alone. And God is giving people every opportunity to bless you while they can. Because when God raised you up from the dunghill, when God raised you up, people of God, from the vicissitudes of life, when God raises you up out of the wilderness, because you coming out. Why don't you affirm that I'm coming out? You are coming out. You hear me? And God is out by a strong hand. So hang in there, people of God. Hang on. Because God is coming to your house to deliver you. God is coming right where you are. Glory to God. To deliver you. God has heard your cry. And God has heard your supplication. God has seen the heart of these evil people. Who have hurt you over and over. I can feel your pain. Oh glory to God. God asked me to get on live. Something that I haven't done yet. But I'm going to obey the voice of God because somebody in the world needs to hear this word today. God is coming to take you out of that hell hole that you've been living in. God is coming to take you out of that environment that keep you oppressed. Some of you can't even do the will of God for your life because of where you are. And the people that you are connected to. Some of these people's tongue will cleave to the roof of their mouth. Just like Elizabeth's husband. God had to silence her husband. And God is going to silence the mouths of these people. They took you for a joke. They thought you was a joke. They take you as a game. They thought you was something to play with. But God is going to cause so much judgment to come upon these people. We're living in a day... We're living in a time and we're living in an hour. We talk about it all the time. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Oh, you can laugh today. Oh, glory to God, but you will cry later. Oh, yes, because God is going to manifest that scripture in the lives of your adversary. So you tell hell to keep talking and you keep walking, people of God. You tell hell to keep talking. And you keep walking. They couldn't stop you. The car wreck couldn't kill you. The gun couldn't kill you. The sickness couldn't kill you. All these things made you who you are today. You haven't seen anything yet. People don't even know who you are. And people are going to tell you, I don't even know who you are. And give God praise for that. Give God glory for that. Because they don't know who you are. But you're going to teach people. And you're going to be humble about it. You're going to teach people. To keep their mouth shut. If they don't have anything positive to say. You are living in a year where you're going to get increase. 
This is the year of the open and the shut door, people of God. This is the year of release. Glory be to God. Do y'all hear me? This is the year of the open and the shut door. This is the year of a latter rain. Your latter days shall be greater than your former days. I hear you, God. Your latter day shall be greater than your former day. They will not be able to cause you to succumb to all of the hell they put you through. They're not going to be able to do it. God wanted me to let some of you know, don't know you by name, but I'm going to... I'm going to obey the voice of the Lord. You pack your bags. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. You pack your bags because some of you are ready to travel and God is going to grant your request. You said, I want to travel, God. God, I want to move on this side of the country. God, I want to relocate over here. And God is moving things around. Oh, be patient, people of God. You be patient, people of God, because I'm telling you, God is working things out for your favor. He's working this for your good. All of these things are going to work together for your good. And you're going to thank God that some of the prayers that you asked him to give you, he didn't give it. I thank God today that some of the things that I prayed for and I asked God, to give me. He didn't give me. I thank God today that some of the people I thought should have been my armor bearers to walk beside me, to cover me. Thank God that he didn't answer my prayer because God knew the heart of man. See, God knows why people are walking with you. God sees everything. So listen, people of God, when people start running away from you, if you have to cry, you cry. But you throw up your hands and you give God praise. You give God glory because God knows better than you. God sees things that you cannot see. God heard conversations that you didn't hear. God seen plots that people had devised against you. God saw some of these people going to witchcraft people. You hear me, people of God? And you're wondering why because they hate the anointing on your life. So be silent in this season. Pray like you've never prayed before in this season. Whatever you need to get right in your life, you get it right. Whatever shouldn't be in your home, you get it out of your home. If you in covenant relationship with the devil, get the devil out of your house. You want the breakthrough? You got to make a sacrifice, God said. You got to be willing to do what is hard. You want the anointing on your life? You want it to flow? You want financial release? You want to leave a legacy to your children? You want to be a kingdom financier? You want to be an entrepreneur? You want to be healed? You work with God and you break covenant relationship with hell. We got a choice to make. I've been where you are, people of God. And I'm transparent enough to let you know you're not going to prosper. We cannot prosper when we are halted between two opinions. God said it's time for my people to turn back to me. Wherever you left God, God is telling you to come back. God is right there where you left him. People left you when you were at the lowest of the low. Some of the same people that you helped. Some of the same people that you prayed for. Some of the same people that you supported. And you thought these people were going to be there for you. And they walked off and left you, family of God. Whenever they promised you they'll be there with you through thick and thin. They told you they were your ride or die. They were not your ride or die. Where are these people? They left your life because they weren't called to your life. Those who stay with us are called to us. God is going to give you people who are going to stick and stay with you. God is not going to allow people to be so spiritually bipolar with you people have had you in your feelings they've had you in your mind and in your emotions you've been on a roller coaster 
You've been up and down and in and out, side to side, front and back, because the enemy wanted your mind, people of God. The enemy has been after your mind for a long time because he knows where you are headed. Oh God, he used all these things to slow you up. People slow you up. You wonder why your blessings isn't coming. Break covenant with hell. Break covenant with people. God wasn't going to give you some blessings because of the people that you had connected to you. Because God knew why people connected to you. You knew it too, family of God. You said it. You told them. You have told other people. And you told God. Now you got to walk by that decision that you've made. You will not be made shame. People wanted you to be made shame, didn't they? They did. That's why they left you when you was on your face. This is why people ask you for certain things and you gave it to them. Because they wanted you to be made shame. See, they thought they were the God in your life. They thought you, they were the God of your life. But God is laughing at these people. Because your God is El Elyon. He is the most high God. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is your provider. He is El Shaddai. He is the God of evidence. That's who he is. Glory be to God. He's Jehovah Shammah, family of God. That means wherever you're trying to go, God is already there. He's the first and the last. That's who he is. He's God. He's powerful. He's mighty. He's strong. And you're on the best team in the world. And don't you ever forget it. You are on the best team in the world. And don't go outside of God trying to get your needs met. Don't you dare go on the outside of God seeking things in dark places that you have no business in because you're going to bring a curse. People have done so much evil against you. I don't care what picture hell has of you. I don't care how hell monitors you. What can hell do? God told us to fear though him who can destroy the soul and body in hell. Don't you fear one person. Don't you fear one witch. Don't you fear one warlock. Don't you fear their altar. You build an altar of prayer before the Lord and your tears is the anointing that is flowing out of you. They will not be able to stop you. They will not be able to succeed. You must know that. You lay down at night and you go to bed. And not only do you go to bed, I want you to sleep and to rest. I want you to meditate on the word of God every day God give you. When you close your eyes, you meditate on the life that you are getting ready to have. You meditate on the life that you're getting ready to receive. You're supposed to be hated because you belong to God. Don't despise the days of small beginnings. You're in an incubation period. You're in an incubation period, people of God. God is working on you. He's working things out for you. And I stopped by to let you know that. I love y'all so much. I'm praying for you. You can make it. You tell yourself that you can make it. Because you're an overcomer. And you are going to overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of your own testimony. People saw you at your lowest point. And God is going to let your enemies live to see you at a pinnacle in your life. You will reach heights that family members have not reached. Glory be to God. You will excel in areas of your life that's going to blow your own mind. God called you and your own family to be that deliverer and you hate it for it aren't you receive that hate because the more they hate you the more favor that god is going to rest upon your life your children and your children's children will be blessed down to the second the third and the fourth generation your children will be blessed god is going to empower your children to prosper Whatever your hands touch, God promised you that it's going to prosper. Wherever your feet is treading, God said, I'm going to give you that land. God is going to take your stuff back from the enemy who stole it. You other people that stole your money even out of your own family. 
And God said, I'm giving all that back to you with interest. The land that people stole from you. The bank accounts that people stole from you in your own flesh and blood family. But my own personal saying, family of God, blood don't make you family. In my eyes, blood don't make you family. Loyalty makes you family. And the word of God tells us those who do the will of my father is my sister, is my brother, is my mother, is my father. Just cause we have the same blood. We're not family. Are you doing the will of the one who sent you? Then we are family. Loyalty. Don't be too loyal to people who are disloyal to you. Don't keep doing good to people who don't do good for you. No, don't be afraid to let people walk. When people want to walk, you let them run. When people want to ghost you out of their life, let them ghost. But don't let them return because they're only returning because they hit a bad space in their life, family of God. They tried everything that they could to destroy your life, but they were unsuccessful. They did everything in their power that caused you to fail. And they've only elevated you. You've confused so many people. People are trying to figure out how in the world are you still here? How in the world aren't you sick and on your deathbed? Because you are covered in the blood. And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Not one. Don't take vengeance in your own hands. I don't care who it is. I don't care if you feel like you have a right to do it. Hold your peace. Shut up. Glory to God. I had to learn that. To be quiet. It's God's job to avenge his children. We are the elect of God. And it is God's job to, to defend us from our adversary. Let God do his job. We got to get out of the way and stay out of God's way. Because God is going to put your enemies in a position. Glory to God that they cannot come back from. That same prayer that they are praying against you, they will succumb to that. You're going to live to see it. But don't rejoice when your enemies fall. This is why God tells us to pray for them. Pray. Because they know not what they do. They don't. They're operating out of a dark place. You are light. You're being attacked because you're light. You share this message with somebody. When you get low in your spirit, you put it on repeat and you listen to it over and over and over again, family of God. Because God is leading you to a wealthy place. God is guiding you to a great place. And hell knows it. And he wants to get into your mind and your emotions to block your blessings. Don't you self-sabotage your own life. Don't you self-sabotage your own future. Look what you've lost. Look how much you've wasted. Look how much time you've wasted in things that don't mean any good. Let these things go. God said, if my people who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. He's saying, seek my face. Then he tell us to turn from our wicked ways. He said, then you're going to hear from me. You're going to hear from heaven. He said, then I'm going to restore you everything that the canker worm ate up. Everything that the palmer worm and the locust and that devourer has eaten. God said, I'm going to restore it. If my people, you got to belong to God. And we got to humble ourselves. And then he told us to pray. Now we got to repent. And I don't mean just somebody telling you I'm sorry. Don't you confuse an apology with repentance. When these people come back and forth out of your life. Like you a revolving door. You're not a revolving door. Shut that door. And keep it closed. They know why they're coming in. They want to come in your life to finish destroying you. Making a fool out of you. This is what the devil wants. They don't love you. You don't have to ask yourself, how do they treat you? That's how they feel about you. Well, why don't they call me? They don't want to call you. Why don't they check on me? I've asked myself that in the past years ago. And I had to come to a painful conclusion. They don't care. And I pray God will heal you. You are my family and I love you. I am praying for you. I am here for you. I am not here for play play. God doesn't have me here for play play. I am here for your soul. I am here for your heart. 
I am here to show you you got a voice and you let hell know it. You don't let a family member stop you. You don't let people hating you stop you. You let this motivate you to get done what you need to get done. You don't need them. You don't need them. This is why God let them go because you don't need them. They have hindered your life so much. But God said no more. God said no more, family of God. Now listen to me. When you hear a powerful word, when you hear a word of encouragement, the enemy, the word that has been sown, if that word and the seed of the word of God is not taking root down on the inside of you, the enemy is going to be able to come and snatch that word out of your heart and cause you to doubt. You are getting ready to be tested beyond measure. You are getting ready to be tested beyond measure. And I am praying for you. Just like Jesus prayed for Peter because he knew what was coming. I can sense what is coming for some of you. You're getting ready to be tested. You're getting ready to go through so much spiritual warfare, but you're going to overcome it. God is going to allow you to overcome this. And after you go through this, after you endure this, you are going to walk in the land of Canaan. Some giants are in your land. When God gives us things, sometimes we got to take back what the enemy took. You got to go right on in that enemy's camp and take your stuff back. Don't you ask for it back. Don't you say, oh, please, can I have this back? Oh, I think this belongs to me. The devil is a lie. Tell him to give you your stuff. Take it. The Bible says the heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. You got to take your stuff back. The enemy took your joy. You take your joy back. He took your peace. You take your peace back, family of God. It's time for you to get an attitude. It's time for you to get an attitude with the devil. It's time for you to double tie your shoelaces. It's time for you to tighten up your belt. It's time for you to keep that helmet of salvation on. You hear me? It's time for you to keep your breastplate of righteousness on. And it's time for you to walk in the fear and in the admonition of the Lord. They couldn't stop you. They tried, but they failed. Point blank, period. They will not be able to stop you. They made you who you are today. So thank your enemies. Write people a letter and cast it in the water. You write your enemies a letter and you cast it in a pit of fire. You tell them thank you. Thank you for hating me. Thank you for doing your best to turn people against me. Thank you for not giving me an opportunity. Thank you for not inviting me. Glory be to God because you helped me to realize that I don't need you. You helped me to realize that I love myself more. God bless all of your family. I gotta go. Love you so much. If it be the will of the Lord, I will talk to you later today. I love y'all so much. Love you. They tried it and they failed. You tell them in the realm of the spirit, you tried it and they failed. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Not by your flesh, not by how you feel. I love all of you too. That's right, all is well. All is well. We love you too. Cast your bread upon the water. Oh, glory to God, Gwendolyn. We love you too. I love y'all back. Love y'all back so much. You have no idea. Love you back. Love all of you back. Glory to God. That's right. They fail. Glory to God. They fail. Every witch fail. Every warlock fail. All of the spells, the jinxes, the hexes, it fell, family of God. You are still here. You are still standing. God is going to recompense you for what you lost. Pack your bags because you're going to travel. Pack your bags because you're going to move. Pack your bags. Your kingdom people are coming in. That's right. I love you too, kingdom family. God is going to give you your kingdom family. He is. He's going to give you your kingdom spouse to those of you who have been praying and beseeching God for a kingdom spouse. God is going to give you your kingdom spouse. Yes, glory be to God. He is. He's going to do that for you. He has no respected person. God is just. Some people think God isn't fair, but God is a just God. But he said, I reign on the just like I do the unjust. He said, but I have a special love for those who are of the household of faith. 
God is going to do more for you because you are of his household of faith. He's going to do more for you. And he's going to let these people live to see it. He's going to allow these people to live, to behold it. To those of you who are sending your seed in the mail, thank you. You make it payable to Nikki McCray. Don't make it payable to anything else. If God led you to do that, you make it payable to Nikki McCray. Everything is in the description box. You listen to me, family. You stay prayed up. You stay girded. You get some anointing oil and you pray over that oil. You anoint your home. You open up your door and you command every foul and evil spirit to come out of your house. You lift up your windows and you command every foul and evil spirit to get out of your house. How do you protect yourself? Through the blood of Jesus, through the blood of Yeshua. Don't you burn nothing in your house, but the fire and the presence of the Lord. God is your protector. God is your guider. God is your revealer. You hear me? God is going to uncover the truth about things that you've been wanting to know about. He couldn't give that to you then because you weren't strong enough. Haven't you ever prayed and asked God to show you things? Sometimes we want details, but God knows the details of what we are wanting to know would hurt us even more. Don't worry about the details. The people who left your life, don't worry about the details. Don't worry about who they're with and where they are and how happy they are. It does not matter. God has saved you. So thank God. No weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that rise against you, it is already condemned. Already. It's already condemned, people of God. If you weren't going to make it, you wouldn't be attacked. If your prayers were not getting ready to be answered, you wouldn't be going through the things that you're going through with now. Always obey the voice of God. Because when you obey, obey the voice of God, you cannot go wrong. Be led by the Spirit. When God is not talking, you just keep praying. He's going to lead you through your troubled waters. Those troubled waters that you're going through with, God is going to lead you through those troubled waters, people of God. He is. And He's going to lead you to a good place. He's going to go before you and make every crooked place straight. God is going to do exploits through you. He's going to do amazing exploits through you. God is going to show you great and mighty things that you've never known. He's going to show you great and mighty things that you've never known. He's going to do it for his glory. And he's going to work everything out for your good. All things are going to work together for the good of those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. You have been called unto the purpose of God, not your own. This is why some things that you wanted to do didn't work out. Some things that I planned that I wanted to do and God didn't let it work out because that was my plan. And that, I, that plan... God said, no, I have something better for you, Nikki. God has something better for you. So be patient and wait upon the Lord because he's going to renew your strength. God is going to renew your strength. God is going to heal you everywhere you hurt. All your broken pieces, God is going to heal that. All of your fragmented pieces, God is going to heal that. You're going to be a testimony. You're going to be a testimony. You are a living testimony. You are the 67th epistle of the word of God, family of God. We're going to end the live now because when God stops speaking to me, I stop talking. I love you. Don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't get scammed here. You all see the scammers. When you get them, delete the reply and continue to report them. I love you too. Thank all of you too, family. Praise the Lord. I love you do you too, K. Scott. Dynasty. Chronic Queen. Love all of your extra support that you give this channel. Dynasty. Love you. Logic. Susan. Jess. McBee. Glory to God. Fonzo. Andrea. God bless all of you so much. I love y'all family. God bless you. Bye-bye.